All right, guys, it is Friday, March 26, 2021. Today marks 33 days I have left on my 55 Chevy uh, two-door hardtop to get it ready for Daryl Starbucks car show in Tulsa. I've had a lot of issues the last past week, maybe a little more than a week. I have get, been getting trash in my paint stuff. When I paint these little parts so bad, uh, it's, it's unbelievable. I had paint that was bad. That's what I get for trying to use a, a matte clear coat that I bought in like 2016. It was messed up. Uh, when I took the lid off, it was all hard in the bottom pretty much. So I got some stuff based and then the clear just didn't work. So I ended up, uh, I got on eBay and I bought a gallon of SEM trim black. I've used this stuff before uh, under hood stuff on a cutlass salon I did and it turned out phenomenal. I love this stuff. It is a single stage. You could pretty much put it in the gun and spray it on, but it's pretty thick. And I talked to them personally back in 2017, I think, when I when I bought a quart of it. And I called them and asked them what I can reduce it with and they said, any quality urethane grade reducer. So uh, I've been just pretty much thinning it down until it's a consistency that I think it works, which is probably close to about 50-50, I would say, but anyway, this stuff is a uh, single stage, so you spray it on, it kicks off, and it, it has that, that satin sheen to it. Um, there's a piece right there. This is the back side of the inner fender, and that's two good coats on it. Um, they're, they're already flashed off and kicked. They've been sitting out here about an hour probably, but the stuff dries quick, uh, so it, it's, I love it. It is a little expensive. But it's a single stage, and for me, you know, painting in a garage, you don't have a paint booth. By the time you put a coat of base on, you let it flash, you go back and put another coat of black base on, you let it flash, then you go back and you put a coat of clear on, and then you let that flash, and then you go in and put another coat on. So every time in between in a garage, you're going to get dust that settles on that part every time. Now on your base coat, if you let it set long enough, you can go back and tack it off, you know, pretty lightly. But once you get your clear on there, you can't really go back and tack right clear unless you want to leave lines in it. Uh, but anyway, this stuff, I, I love it. Uh, I, I bought a gallon of it because I'm going to end up using it for the inner fenders, core support, and all that underhood stuff for that 55 four-door as well. So I have plenty of that to use. Now I've got a ton of parts that I'm going to be painting with that. Lots of little brackets and pieces of trim and all that stuff. But Anyway, if you've caught this in the background, this is uh, the dust closet. I'm getting trashed so bad I decided to try to build a closet for a paint booth in here and uh, it's, it, yeah, I built it out of junk basically. I had to buy a filter and I had to buy two rolls of plastic but all this wood and stuff I had here is just scrap lumber and junk lumber out of a lumber pile and I put a couple of tiny hinges on it to make it work but uh, I'm still getting trash in parts. It's not as bad but uh, I'm still getting some trash in it but this is my electric fan shroud that I built out of steel that bolts on to the radiator. I've got a, I think it's like a 2400 CFM electric fan. Anyway, I have sprayed uh, already all my heater box parts, which I tried spraying them, uh, I don't know, three or four days ago. We've had about a rain for, uh, man, three or four days. We've had nothing but rain all day. Yard soup, uh, the grass is really high, but Anyway, I haven't got a whole lot done, basically. Uh, yeah, I've had a, so much bad luck that it, I've gotten pretty depressed. Uh, but today it's looking up because the weekend's 60 and 70 degree weather, and I'm kind of digging on it. But uh, I'll take you for a walk here. Bear with me. We'll go back here. I painted all my heater parts a couple hours ago, and I brought them out and put them in my shed. windy today. I've painted so many cars and parts and motorcycles and stuff in that garage and it's like this past year is really bad for trash but anyway, it's kind of dark in here. So all I did basically was just hang these parts up in here and that's really hot in here but it gets them out of the way so my I don't get any overspray on them when I'm up there around front so it is time consuming packing this stuff around here. And I tried to paint these a few days ago before we had our few days of rain in a row, but I ran out of base coat, so I had to go back to Tulsa and get another. I went ahead and got a quart mixed. I could have got away with a pint, 
But I went ahead and got a quart because I think when I do the four door, I'm going to go ahead and spray the heater box this same color because I really like it. It has a, a greenish gray cast to it. We'll just take a piece out here and show it to you in the sun. I think it looks pretty cool. It has that almost original look to it, but it has so much pearl in it, it's just really pretty. I like it. I can get the sun on it. I mean, it just glimmers with all that pearl in there, but that is 2007 Honda Galaxy Gray. Now that color is actually 2005 to 2011 or something, I think that guy told me. But anyway, I did get a few speckles of trash here and there in it, but it's it's just good enough, man. I'm to the point where I've already figured out in a garage environment without a true paint booth, you're just you're not going to get 100% you know trash free. I don't want to have to color sand and buff all this stuff, so it, it's pretty much uh, shoot it and done. But this is base coat, clear coat. This is two coats of Galaxy Gray, two coats of clear. And uh, it just, it looks awesome. This is the heater box uh, on one of my videos. I talked about that crest that looks embossed in there. Anyway, it's just going to end up looking pretty slick, I think. Um, this piece turned out really nice as well. Anyway, this shed works out good for a, a basically a baking booth. I have a lot of junk in here. There's the other half of the heater box there. Now these are the studs that actually go through the firewall. When that heater box is assembled, you push it through from the inside and those studs go through the firewall and you have nuts on the outside of the firewall. So what I did, I removed the original studs because they're really, really long and they're just steel. And uh, I replaced them with shorter uh, stainless steel bolts. And I drilled the hole and I put the bolt in from the backside and welded it up. So now I've got stainless threads and I've got 12 point ARP nuts and lock washers that'll go on there to bolt it to the firewall and it's still keeping with originality where it still bolts on like stock but it looks nice on the firewall having fasteners exposed but anyway that's the that's the other half of it and then there's the tissue dispenser that's now a cup holder I've got it taped to a box there but just whatever I can get done is what I do basically because I'm redneck I'm all about redneck Man, I tell you, I've had a, such a bad run. Had so many issues happen. It's just irritating. Frustrates me. The, the matte clear, after I base coated a bunch of them parts, the matte clear was no good. It's what I get for not checking it and having it since 2016. Uh, I had opened it and used just a little bit out of it, so I guess when I opened it, that's what messed it up. But, you know, it's been in this garage, and this garage gets hot in the summer and cold in the winter. It's not insulated in here, so I'm sure that's what done it in. And then I tried to spray my heater box parts one day and I run out of base, but before I run out of base, my uh, mini touch-up gun, which I've had for over 20 years, uh, it got a groove worn in the needle, so it got to where it was dripping paint. So it dripped paint on my parts. I had to go back and wet sand them out. I went to Harbor Freight and I bought a touch-up gun, this, this fine high-tech piece of machinery right here. And I cannot get a pattern out of this that's consistent. Uh, when you tune it for a pattern, uh, it's really wet on the top and really light on the bottom, so it's not that great. <clears throat> I ended up borrowing a touch-up gun from my mom and dad, and uh, it actually worked, except my first coat, when I shot the main heater box with it, it shot out of the vent hole at the top of the cap down on the parts like a fountain. <laughs> so I had to go back and wet sand it again uh, and shoot it, and then I ran out of base coat. I knew I was getting low on base coat, but I went ahead and went for it anyway, you know. So I ended up having to scotch bright those down with a gray scotch bright, all the parts, and then I just went and got another quart of it mixed and rebased it today and cleared it today. So all the heater parts are painted. Uh, so right now I'm working on trim parts, uh, like the trim paint color. Uh, this sim trim paint, it's you know it's like a like a semi gloss or a satin maybe. It, it's not glossy basically. But anyway, I like it because it's single stage. You spray it on and it's consistent. It's not blotchy and it, it actually looks good. I love it. But I mean, you can see, other than there's dust settled on it now, but it's already dry. That's the back side of the front inner fenders. This is the rear splash area for the front wheel. And uh, I'm gonna be Raptor lining the front of it and all the back side of the inner fenders. But 
all of the inner fenders, which are right there, the core support, the core support baffles, all that stuff is going to be painted with that SEM uh, trim black. I don't have everything completely sanded uh, because I base coat that stuff, base coated that stuff the other day, and uh, I'm not uh, going to try to just spray it over it. But there's a couple of areas of trash I got to sand out of it anyway. But anyway, I've just had hell. I've had a, a hell of a bad time uh, this past week, and the three days or four days in a row of rain just it kills me, man. I don't paint in the rain. When it's raining outside, even though I'm inside, I don't paint because there's moisture in the air, and I just don't like that. And I can tell you, if you've ever tried to spray a satin flat finish or anything like that with moisture in the air, it always turns foggy on me. And it may just be the area I'm in in the States. I don't, in Oklahoma, I don't know. But So I always wait until the sun's out. And I waited today till it was about 1 or 2 p.m. It got up to 68 degrees, uh, but the sun was out most of the day. So uh, this stuff's turning out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Anyway, I'm going to paint a few more parts, and then it's pretty much just about dinner time. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a day, and then tomorrow is going to be all-day painting. I'm going to paint parts all day tomorrow. Uh, some of the parts i got to sand, so I'll paint a part. I'll leave it sitting in there to flash off, and then I'll sand. I'll basically stay busy the whole time in and out of that paint booth. But anyway, it works. I mean, kind of. I'm still getting trash, but... You know, when you open that door, it's that stuff just, you can feel the air hitch in the face when you open that door because that fan's pulling the suction. You can see how this is pulled in. And uh, I did cut a hole in the plastic and built a little wood frame, and I've got just that filter stapled in there. And uh, it's still, uh, like if I turned that fan on high, it, it was pulling the staples out of the ceiling, out of the plastic. That's how much of a suction it had, which would be awesome. But... You know, once you open this door, it takes away the pressure, and so that stuff is just pulling in at, at that point. So, uh, what I've been doing uh, after this part here, uh, since this is a single stage and it's spray and done, I sprayed it and then I kind of just stood in here for about three or four minutes. Then I walked out because this stuff flashes pretty quick, so anything that gets in it after a few minutes will probably wipe out, maybe in theory, I guess. But. Anyway, guys, that's a plan. I got a lot of stuff to paint, and I'm going to be busy all day tomorrow painting. So hopefully nobody tries to stop by and, and bug me. You know, it's, it happens all the time I'm out here. You know, it's sunny outside. People are out and about, and then, you know, I push my car out, and somebody will drive by and see that car, and then they want to stop and talk, and I can't get nothing done. But it's just the way it is, I guess. So I'm going to jump off here and uh, drag in a few more parts and get them sprayed and hopefully get this pretty much knocked out. So anyway, thanks for watching. So please subscribe.